Right, so be, um, you're going to be a, a lot older to watch this video, um, but this gives me the opportunity to show the odd one or two family recipes, um, which um, I'll give you. I'm going to put a few little chats on about our family history because we are mixed race, but it's not just um, Anglo Indian. I mean, brother Edward, he's white with red hair, and uh, that shows you the mix. And the surname Chatelier, which is French, we've got Claudius, which is Italian, German, Dutch, Scottish. So, um, real mix here. And of course, some of this um, it, it relates to our food. Some of it's uh, recognisable uh, by other people, some of it may be our own. But I'm going to do the ones which have a view for sailing. And that means, um, you know, having to do it on a very confined space in a ship's galley. And I'm going to also take the opportunity of using this first time I got this. This is called a Mr. D thermal cooker and it's stainless steel. And whereas if you're normally cooking on a boat, um, you um, have to have the gas on and you're cooking uh, and that uses gas, which of course is a finite source on a boat, uh, unless you've got electric in the modern generators, uh, which some of the rich and wealthy sailors do have, but not everybody falls in that category and basically you cook your meal in this dish you put it into this dish you seal the top and it continues to cook uh, without electric uh, without gas and it's ready to eat in a few several hours or with flexible time later on there's also this little thing here which you cook your vegetable rice in you put it on top you put it in there and that also cooks and there's a lid for that and there's a lid for this anyway this is the first time I've used it it's a friend of mine who was a sailor she and her husband on a catamaran now got themselves a motor caravan but uh, they used to she and a couple of friends used to rave about these thermal cookers well now's a chance to find out but I'm not promoting it anyway because I don't know how good they are but we'll find out but what I'm talking to you, and the reason why it's on the granddad thing, is I'm going to do one of our family recipes, which is handy, because I'm going to make it fast for boats. Okay. Oh, yep. And I haven't said that this is this, the meat, beef mince, I'm doing a, 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 a mince curry. Okay. Well, in here is garlic, ginger, and chilies. Two chilies, about an inch and a bit of garlic and um, about three or four pods of, of uh, sorry inch of an inch and a half of ginger and about three or four pods of garlic or to taste here's curry leaves you'll, you'll have to get those from a uh, an ethnic uh, shop or i think saying speech now salem but anyway there we go um, if you can't get these on the islands and you're sailing and all that it doesn't matter at all or you can buy them dried so you can keep them on board that's going in there got some water this because it's express cooking on a boat this is Patex curry paste Madras curry paste they do different temperatures you can get um, one that suits your taste I suggest the Madras curry paste um, because you can move the mince is cooked you can add any vegetables to them I've just chopped them up but truthfully just I often just put a handful of peas at the end frozen peas you don't need any of this in there but if you're sailing you know you need to make weight and this could make weight I've also got not necessarily part of the recipe itself, um, but I like to have a chopped handful of curry out and at the end. It's not my mother's recipe, but that's what I do. Um, right, here's the onions ready to be fried. I'm going to do various uh, films of this because I want to see how, I want to show you how, what, with curries as opposed to Chinese and Chinese cooking, the frying of the onions is very important as to when to other and ingredients and when stop cooking them. And it makes the difference between a good tasting curry, a sweet tasting curry, uh, or, or a burnt tasting curry. And the same thing goes for Chinese. So um, I think it's a crucial thing. 